All right, gang. Really excited to have William Start back in the studio with us again. Hi. Yes, it's good to see you. Good to see you and uh, this is the holiday season, and it wouldn't really be a holiday season unless we have Nutcracker, yes, Columbia Nutcracker. City Ballet in the house. And uh, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Um, Coco, I brought Autumn Hill, Autumn one of our Hill. soloists, who's dancing yes. the role of the Sugar Plum Fairy. Oh, wow. Among other roles, she's yes. also dancing the Dewdrop Fairy, mm -hmm. the Spanish Hot Chocolate. Yes. What else? Um, I'm Fritz's girlfriend in the party scene. That's right. Okay. okay. <laughs> a snowflake, so many different roles. Wow. Yeah, she's and, busy. And where are you from? I'm originally from California. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And then in the back this there? This is Ian Samuels. Hello. And Ian is an uh, incredible jumper, amazing dancer, and he's featured in the Russian tripak, the Russian dance. Wow. L Russian licorice twist. Oh, my goodness. Licorice whip. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you yeah. dance in? Um, I am a snowflake also as Autumn. I am a, I am a cadet in the party scene. He doesn't um, know which uh, microphone to use. Yeah. <laughs> Either one is okay. good. I'm, I'm a cadet in the party scene. Uh, I do a couple, a few other roles too I cannot think right now. You're the baker? Yes, I'm the baker. Um, and I think that's it, I think. Yeah. I did shoe page a couple of times, but... Yeah. That was it. Okay. Yeah. 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 Cool. But mainly the Russian dance is, he's featured in the Russian dance, it's very physical. Mm -hmm. And so we kind of have to keep him rested up for that one. Yes. Now, the um, you're opening on Saturday um, this weekend. Yes, the 10th. We open on the 10th at 3 and 7.30, and then also the 11th at 3 o'clock. And then the following weekend, the 17th and 18th at 3 and 7.30, and the last performance is on the 18th at 3. And we also have, Coco, we have our Nutcracker Tea, which is incredibly fun. And that will be on the 10th, the 11th, and the 17th. And that's at 1.30. Okay. And for the tea, they call 799-7605 for tickets. It's incredible fun. Um, grandparents love it. All the children get dressed up, and they get to meet with the dancers. It's a photo op. Um, they have tea, of course, and arts and crafts, and there's special performances for them. Um, everyone gets dressed up. It's an amazing, amazing time for the children. And then after the tea, they go on into the Coger Center Theater, and they get to celebrate and see the Nutcracker. Now, I'm going to ask our dancers here, um, just for your personal experience, Amber, and then you, Ian, uh, just give us a little uh, history on what it's like to get ready for a performance such as Nutcracker. Well, the Nutcracker, it requires a lot of stamina and strength um, but also you you have to take the audience to a journey. And so many of us play so many different characters in the Nutcracker. That, that's the fun part for us is to really fall into our characters. And between the sets and the costumes and the choreography, it's your job to really take on each role and convince the audience that, that you are that character at that moment. And then in a split second, you can change. And, you know, you could be something completely different. Yes. So. Um, it takes a lot of physical stamina, but also mental stamina as well, and preparation. Okay, and what about you from your perspective? I agree with everything she says. Um, for me, I just, just get in the zone. I just focus everything out like 30 minutes before we have to go on stage. I, I wouldn't call it meditation, mm -hmm. but um, I get really focused. I can't explain it. And, you know, tell us from your perspective as a guy. You know, not many the guys are into ballet, so... Encourage men out there because there is a great need. It's more manly than most guys would think because you have to lift the girls like over your head and mm -hmm. just do all this other stuff yeah. that most guys don't really know go into ballet. Mm -hmm. So they just always think it's girly or something. But I love it. Mm -hmm. I think it's pretty neat. Yeah, we're looking forward and to it. Ian has an amazing jump. He was my student as a youngster. He's from Columbia here. Oh, um, cool. Yeah, and Ian's a really hard worker. He, he has a very famous brother as well who is a dancer on Broadway, and he was just in Newsies. He's auditioning right now for Cats and possibly in the new Frozen, Frozen oh, wow. musical yeah. on Broadway. Um, and he's from Columbia. He's okay. also a student of the Conservatory of Dance. But um, Ian has just always loved the physicality of dancing. He has an amazing jump. And when we do our educational outreach, I use Ian as an example of how high um, the male dancers have to jump to defy gravity. Um, and um, it's Ian is a great role model 
for um, young men that are interested in performing art. Are you going to do the, one of the jumps in Nutcracker? Yes. Oh, goodness. Yes. I know I'm going to have to see it now. <laughs> All right. Really? He has amazing elevation, like, you know, a basketball player would have or something. Um, you know, and we love seeing that and the coordination of a basketball player and things like that. It's the same thing, but it's to music and it's refined and he takes on acting, different characters. Mm -hmm. So like what Autumn was mentioning, like, we really dissect a flower and what a fl waltz of the flowers would be like and how their arms are the petals and how the flowers are used to being looked at and they're very, um, they're very, I wouldn't say narcissistic, but they're very confident. Mm -hmm. And so all those characteristics they take on when they're a flower and then in maybe two to three minutes later, Autumn will dance the role of the Spanish hot chocolate. <laughs> so then it's all Spanish and we work on that mm -hmm. and the, so in, in addition to the physicality and the stamina, there's a lot of acting and the um, artistic components that go into portraying those characters. Mm -hmm. And we work on that really, really diligently because it's art. And we know a lot of people are going to come see the Nutcracker because their neighbor's children might be in it or they've, they're familiar, they've heard about it. And it's a great celebratory thing to do at the holidays. But we know that we can capture them and they can hopefully discover the art and how beautiful and how important it is in our culture today. Right. Um, and then we want them to come back after Nutcracker and see us in Beauty and the Beast. And we're doing Swan Lake mm -hmm. in January. And we're also doing a brand new Ballet of Emmanuel that I'm hoping we can come back and talk oh, about certainly. a little bit later. Certainly. This again is at the Coger Center for the Arts and something very significant too. Um, this is kind of like the longest running it is. Mm -hmm. The Columbia City Ballet is the largest performing arts organization in the state of South Carolina. The Coger Center, this Nutcracker is the only production that was ever created specifically for the Coger Center. Wow. So the sets and the scenery match the red of the seats and exactly the size of the theater. And the theater was kept in mind when we, we designed the size of the sets and the scenery and the props. And so it's the only production <coughs> that exists that's been specifically designed for the Coger Center. And then it's the longest single um, South Carolina produced arts event, performing arts event in our state. Um, the Columbia City Ballet, we're on a nine city tour. We um, have performed 27 <coughs> times in 33 days in four states and nine cities. And so um, we're thrilled that we get to open here in Columbia. Yes. Yeah, we're really excited. We haven't, um, we, we last year our Nutcracker was our largest selling production of all time, so we're trying to um, surpass <laughs> that, of course. So we want everyone to come out. It's six fantastic performances, um, and it starts this Saturday at three and seven thirty, and then um, on Sunday at three, and the following weekend the same thing on the seventeenth and eighteenth, three and seven thirty, and the last performance is on the eighteenth. Now, Coco, the last performances always completely sell out. So we want people to get their exactly. tickets early. Mm -hmm. You call 251-2222 um, for tickets, or you can go online at um, CogerCenterForTheArts.com. But I want to tell the audience at home, the folks at home, a way to save money. If, um, because the theater costs and the fees they put on the tickets, the surcharges are just right. astronomical. Mm -hmm. um, if you become a member of the Clement City Ballet, you can save up to $22 per ticket, per oh, wow. seat, um, as opposed to like calling in and getting your tickets online. And we try to make it just as convenient. So if you call the office, 799-7605, you save all of the surcharges and 25 more percent. It's like $22 per ticket. Can't beat it. You can't beat it. Mm -hmm. And so, but what the only requirement is you got to buy a minimum of eight tickets. So that's $300. Okay. But there's still a huge savings. And you get your name in the program, and um, a portion of it's tax deductible, and um, okay. you get automatic ticket exchange um, if you want to change your seats. Um, you get other notices and discounts um, for other things throughout the year. So becoming a member of the Columbus City Ballet is a great gift. And it, also, if you don't use all of your tickets for Nutcracker, you can use them for Beauty and the Beast, for Swan Lake, or for Emmanuel. Okay. So it serves you all season long. And it also might make a great Christmas gift. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So for those hard people to buy for or you're not sure, want to come up with something different, how cool to open up a, a present and have Beauty and the Beast tickets. Can't go wrong under with that. The tree. <laughs> Can't so go wrong. It could be really, really fun. Yes. So for that membership savings, you call 799 
Or if you want to get your tickets to the Nutcracker, you call 251-2222, and we want to encourage everyone to get their tickets early. All right. Uh, just great to have you guys here, and um, yeah. can't wait for the performance. I have to tell you, Coco, uh, this year is spectacular. I, can't, I just can't wait. <laughs> I mean, we've been performing now 56 years. The season's uh, the company's 56 years old. But um, I just knew something special. Well, we opened in Sumter, and the, the curtain opened. I mean, the dancers are just magical. I, I want to encourage everyone. I'm so proud of the production. And it's something that you can be proud of. If you have guests visiting from out of town, you want them to come. I promise you, the Charlotte Ballet, the Atlanta Ballet, none of those other big ballet companies have anything over us. Right. This Nutcracker is spectacular. We'll see you there. And you know what? Do you guys have a moment? Um, we're going to go visit Prince Ice. He's doing the ice cold mix right now. You want to go and see if you can shake a leg? Absolutely. Sounds good. We're going to see what's going on in the party mix. Right here with all the ice. Let's see what's going on. Oh, my God.